Meghan Markle to join royal family at Sandringham for Christmas. Meghan Markle will join the Queen and other senior members of the royal family for Christmas at Sandringham, Kensington Palace has confirmed. Ms Markle and fiancé Prince Harry will be seen in public with other royals when they attend the traditional Christmas Day church service on the Queen's private estate in Norfolk. The couple got engaged on November 27 and a few days later a proud Harry introduced his bride-to-be to the nation during a series of official events in Nottingham. Buckingham Palace has said the Queen and other members of the royal family will join the congregation for the morning service at St Mary Magdalene Church on December 25. A Kensington Palace spokesman said, You can expect to see the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Prince Harry and Ms Markle at Sandringham on Christmas Day. Christmas at Sandringham is likely to be the first of many for the American actress, who will wed Harry sometime in May in St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. During a television interview to mark their engagement, Harry and Meghan revealed that the former actress had met the Queen. But if she has not been introduced to the rest of the family, the Christmas gathering will be the opportunity to chat to the Princess Royal the Earl and Countess of Wessex and the Duke of York and his daughters, who are all expected to attend. Christmas Day walkabout a chance to meet public. The event also usually attracts hundreds of well-wishers who watch the royal party walk from Sandringham House to the nearby St Mary Magdalene Church, and make the return journey after the Christmas Day service is over. Members of the royal family usually go on an impromptu walkabout, chatting to local residents. And this could be another opportunity for Ms Markle to meet more of the British public. It is thought that William and Kate, who is pregnant with her third child, will not take their children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, to the Christmas Day church service. Where will Meghan and Harry stay at Christmas? There is speculation that Harry and his bride-to-be might stay with the Cambridges at their nearby home, Anmer Hall. But if they are accommodated by the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh at Sandringham, they will follow a German tradition observed by generations of the royal family. Christmas presents are opened on Christmas Eve, rather than Christmas Day, a legacy of the German heritage of the monarchy. All the stars were aligned, how the couple met. After announcing their engagement, the couple gave an insight into their 16-month romance in the BBC interview, and described how they met on a blind date set up by a mutual friend. Ms Markle told how she could not wait to say yes to the prince when Harry got down on one knee a few weeks ago as they cooked a roast chicken dinner at his home, Nottingham Cottage at Kensington Palace. Indicating the depths of his feeling for his bride-to-be, Prince Harry said, The fact that I fell in love with Meghan so incredibly quickly was sort of confirmation to me that everything, all the stars were aligned, everything was just perfect. It was this beautiful woman just sort of literally tripped and fell into my life, I fell into her life. A few months into the relationship, Harry said he had to have some pretty frank conversations with Meghan about how her life may change when she entered the royal family. He added, but I know that at the end of the day she chooses me, and I choose her, and therefore whatever we have to tackle together or individually we'll always be us together as a team. So I think she's capable. She's capable of anything. The couple disclosed that Ms Markle had met the Queen twice, an individual she described as an incredible woman. The former Suits star was also a big hit with the Queen's beloved corgis, with the prince joking, I've spent the last 33 years being barked at, this one walks in, absolutely nothing. Traditions of a Royal Christmas at Sandringham The traditions and customs followed by the royal family at Christmas are likely to come as a surprise to Meghan Markle. While most people across the country open their presents on Christmas Day, the royal family still keep to the German practice of opening their gifts on Christmas Eve. The Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh and other royals usually congregate in the white drawing room at Sandringham House the day before Christmas to put the finishing touches to a 20 feet. 6 meters, tree cut from the estate. Presents are placed on a white linen covered trestle table, with cards marking exactly where the piles of gifts should be put, and what should Ms Markle buy the woman who is head of state and lives in palaces. Something useful as the Queen apparently likes practical presents, but not overly extravagant ones. The Duchess of Cambridge revealed that she was left stumped over what to buy the Queen for Christmas. I thought I'll make her something which could have gone horribly wrong. But I decided to make my granny's recipe of chutney. At 5 p.m., guests enjoy tea, scones, 
sandwiches and cakes from sideboards in the saloon. Afterwards, they dress for dinner, with the table set with the finest china. M's Markle will be separated from Harry later in the evening as, sometime after 10 p.m., on a signal from the Queen, the corgis are led out and the ladies adjourn, leaving the Duke of Edinburgh to serve port or brandy to the men. On Christmas Day, the royals awake to find stockings filled with small gifts and fruit at the foot of their beds. Their appearance at St. Mary Magdalene Church's morning service on the royal estate is a traditional event where they meet well-wishers. Back at the house, lunch is served at 1 p.m. and they indulge in a giant turkey, reared at Sandringham. They then settle down to watch TV, including, most importantly, the Queen's Christmas speech.